For this project, we'll be needing a 606 transformer step down, a 2200 microfarad capacitor, four diodes, I and 4007. LED of course, a solderable circuit board, breadboard, soldering iron, solder, soldering flux, multimeter, few resistors, carbon type. At first we'll do it simply by soldering on the capacitor by forming a bridge like structure it will be easy to understand. Second we'll do the same on a breadboard one of the easiest way and at last we'll do the same on a solderable circuit board. The circuit diagram goes something like this. These are the two pins for the input 220 volt AC. The solder two wires at these two points. Remember that the wires should be strong enough to handle this kind of high voltage. And now for the output AC voltage that is 6 volt AC, we will use the pin at this side, any of the pin in the side and the pin at the center. Just solder it there. So after soldering the wires properly, let us now turn on the AC mains and check the voltage input and output using our multimeter. So we can see that the input voltage is 230 to 233 volt AC that is the normal household voltage and the output voltage is 6 point some volts across the pin at the center and the pin at the side and the voltage across the two pins at the sides is around 13 point something volts 13.8 13.9 volts. One thing we must keep in mind is that we are dealing with 230 volts AC. A contact with such kind of voltage with our body can lead to death and it is really very risky. So we will cover the pins or insulate the pins using black tips so that we cannot even by mistakes touch the pins. Yeah, so it looks good now and we are ready to go. Now we will connect the four diodes as a bridge so as to make a bridge rectifier. Then we will connect the capacitor to make a filter circuit or to make a filter.
uh, the two legs of the capacitors are to be connected at the point where the two cathodes and two anodes of the diodes are meeting like this So once the soldering or the capacitor is attached, the two points or the two junctions where the capacitor is attached will be the positive and negative output of the DC voltage and the other two are the AC inputs, AC 6 volt. We will solder it there. Uh, we must be careful while soldering because the diodes and the capacitors will get hot and it may burn our hand. And also now solder two wires at the DC output and now the junction where the two cathodes of the diodes are connected becomes our positive source positive source of the DC voltage and the place where the anodes of the diodes are connected is the negative source of the DC voltage so now connect the output sources DC output sources to a multimeter and then switch on the AC source and let us check it or let's check the output voltage on the multimeter so in the multimeter we can see that the output voltage is 8.53 volts DC considering the local make of the multimeter and the transformers uh, this kind or this kind of errors can be ignored so let us now glow a LED using this circuit. To do this just connect a resistor to the positive leg of the LED and connect this positive leg of the resistor or the leg of the resistor to the positive source and the negative leg of the resistor to the negative source DC which we created just now. And you can see the LED is glowing right now because of the power stored in the capacitor. So once we power it on the LED glows something like this. So now let us do the same using a breadboard. In a breadboard we know that the uh, first track, the first and the last track are in series horizontally and the middle two tracks are in series vertically. So now let us construct the circuit as per the circuit diagram. It is very easy and doing an experiment on the breadboard is one of the easiest tasks we can have in electronics. Let us now insert the capacitor at the junction of the two cathodes and anodes of the diodes in the breadboard. Uh, the vertical relays where the legs of the capacitors are connected become the source of our DC output. The place where the cathode of the diodes are 
connected is the positive source and of course uh, the place where the anode are connected is the negative source. Let us connect the other two relays uh, for the input, AC input. We can use these small pieces of wires to do this. Just we need to connect the vertical relays. Now it is hard to insert the those kind of wires in directly in the breadboard, so we can attach that wire to some single piece hardware and then we can insert it there then insert the resistor leg, leg of the resistor which is connected to the LED to the positive terminal of the output and the other to the negative terminal of course and now once we power it on we can see the LED glowing so our circuit is completed in a breadboard mm, the connection of the relay in the breadboard looks something like this this is the positive leg I mean the positive source of the DC voltage and that is the negative. You can find all this in the schematics. Uh, then now we should do the same circuit in the circuit board. At first insert the capacitor. You know soldering is an art and we need a lot of practice and patience for soldering. Of course I'm not good in soldering but the way I do it is okay. I can do it. The place where the two anode of the diode meet and the place where the two cathode of the diode meets are, are to be connected to the resistor. Use small pieces of wire for this.
and now connect the input sources AC input sources that is the two wires coming out from the transformer step down transformer solder it there Now insert a register. And then a LED. Solder the positive terminal of the LED with the register. And now the place where the cathodes of the diodes meet is the positive source for the DC output and the place where the anode meets is the negative source of the DC output. Connect the leg of the register to the positive source and the leg of the LED, negative leg of the LED to the negative source by using small pieces of wires. Now our circuit is ready, let's power it on. Yeah, the LED glows. We can mount the transformer on the circuit board like this. It will make it look better. We can use some glue also. So it's done. Our circuit is working. Thank you for watching this video guys. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you don't like it, thumbs down is always there, never mind. And you may subscribe to this channel for more such videos. Thank you.